up a minute. Hello. Hello. Hey, it's Congressman Powell. All right. There you are. Hello. Hey, man. Mr. Chairman, how are you, sir? That you're working overtime, huh? Well, I was in a meeting in the president's office, and I just came out and got your call. I got it. But I, got I, got this, I hope this is uh, a Josh. Uh, no, uh, no. My committee is up in arms. Have you seen the Appalachia bill? Do you see where they have a clause in there with the Secretary of Commerce? Hello. Hello. I'll bet I'm on the call with Chairman Powell. Go ahead. Go ahead, sir. Do you see the uh, clause in there, which I'm going to offer amendment to tomorrow? My committee's back in 100%. And if my amendment doesn't go through, then we're going to vote against the bill. There's a clause in the Appalachia bill where the Secretary of Commerce has the right to arbitrarily change the formula of any educational bill that has been passed in the Appalachian area. Hmm. No, I'm not aware of that. Yep. I told Carl Arthur this morning. I told him to go to work on it. I didn't get anywhere with it. Yes, sir. Now, in the second place, the Supreme Court has just ruled that the de facto segregation is all right. You know that? No, I am. Um, you don't know that? No. What, what was this? What was this? This means that in the North, where we do not have de jure segregation yes. in the school system, we have de facto. And we're trying to correct this in the North by changing children from different school districts. Because as long as you have a ghetto, they have de facto. Uh -huh. There's in the big towns like Chicago, New York, with two million uh -huh. Negroes and Puerto Ricans. They just rule that de facto segregation is all right, the neighborhood school concept must stand. Now, in Title I of the bill before us, which no one spotted, except our beloved friend from Oregon spotted, showed us uh, to me this morning and others of us, uh, the Schools under the elementary secondary school bill. Who, who is, uh, excuse me, who is this beloved friend from Oregon? That's a uh, dear Edith. Oh, Mrs. Green. Yes, yeah, your yeah. girl. Yes. Uh, the uh, schools will be built in the ghettos, which means de facto segregation will be built in, especially in view of the Supreme Court decision. Let me, uh, let me. Mr. Chairman, just a second. May I? I want to get the president because I think this is very important. And uh, let me. Uh, can you hold on just a second? Okay, sure. Because I, I think this is important. Hold on just a minute. Mm -hmm. Hello. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, Congressman Powell, Mr. Valenti's transferring him. Wants to uh, put me on. Oh, Hello, man. Go right ahead. Hello. How's my friend? Fine, Adam. What the hell's been happening to your committee? I thought you told me two months ago that you were going to pass a bill for me. That's right. Well, what happened? All hell is broken loose because... Well, uh, what the hell are you blackmailing me on a well, 400... Right. Well, the hell you didn't. You on a $400,000 appropriation for you, we couldn't pass a billion, 200 million for school kids. Now, you know I'm for you, and you know that... Uh, I'm going to help you any way I can. I've got nothing to do with what you're doing in the House investigation, but you've damn near defeated the best education bill I've got, and I right. hope you're going to be proud of it. No. Now, uh, you know in the Appalachian bill that there is... Well, Appalachia ain't got a damn thing to do with you. If you handle your committee and let us handle the other one. Yeah, but there's a clause in there, Mr. President. Yeah, there's a clause been in there all the time, and if you're going to let... If you're going to let heirs and eat of the green, lead you off the reservation. Well, then I ran for nothing last year with 15 million votes. Uh, if you're going to if you're going to tie up this Congress and screw it up, what you've done for three weeks by running off uh, till you get 400,000 appropriation, well, we never can get anywhere. And you defeat this, and you hold it up, and you delay it, and you get us in this kind of shape. 
Well, we, we, we can't pass anything, and that's all right. But I, I, think it, I think you'll be the hell of a bunch of your liberal Democrats. And I'll, I'm going to be here. It's not going to bother me. But I just sure thought I had better leadership on that committee than what I've got without even talking. Right. And I, I, I'm awfully disappointed in it. Just very disappointed. Now, Mr. President, don't you think I was entitled to the money? No, I don't think you're entitled to a damn thing that you did. I think you told me and looked me straight in the eye and said, I'll report this bill and I'll get it on the floor. And you didn't March do it. March 1st. And you did not do it. It's March 1st. Uh, no, no, you didn't say March. Oh, hell no, you didn't say the March first. You told me you were going to do it, and then you ran off for three weeks, and they couldn't even locate you. I asked the speaker to call you and tell you that this was serious, and this is bad. This is the this is the thing we ran on all over the country, and your people are being damn well taken care of in it. Now, what about the clause in the Appalachian Bill? I don't know. I never heard of it, but I'm not going to be in armed services or Appalachia or investigations of the Labor Committee or anything else. We'll try each one of them on their own. Yeah, uh, there's not anything. Appalachia, Appalachia Bill is, is Kennedy's bill that they prepared, they presented for 11 states down here, and we're trying to do the best we can with it. Uh, but uh, look, for Christ's sake, mind. don't let somebody put a pistol at your head, Adam. Don't do me that way. You uh, you, you know, will form me in 60. Hands. You will form me in 60. And you call up here in 59. 59. Well, it's 60 when I didn't have the mouse in 59. But I can tell you the, the day in 60 when you were. But now, if I'm going to be for you, don't you go to doing me this way. You let, you let these goddamn outlaws. That, that start these bill airs is laughing. He had people in here this afternoon. He said he's stirring up all this trouble. Sure. And he's got he's got Ms. Green and she has always been stirring up trouble. I know. On that. anything. Oh, that's my problem, child. Well, I know it, but for Christ's sake, uh, uh, you, you got 21 men to 10. Mm -hmm. And if we can't get our people to go together against that crowd, they're unanimous. Uh, what's wrong with an amendment tomorrow in Appalachia so the Secretary of Commerce cannot arbitrarily change the formula for education bills? Well, if you, can't, can't, hey, listen, if you can't trust me on Appalachia, you damn sure can't trust an amendment or the, or the uh, uh, Secretary of Commerce or anybody else. Mm -hmm. uh, if, right, if there's anything going to happen in Appalachia that's anti-Negro, I won't let it happen. Period. Well, I'm not talking about Negro, I'm talking about well, the formulas for the education bill. Well, they're not going to do anything with education. What? That, 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 listen, Adam, uh, uh, don't try to to cover everything. Just no. let us, just, they, they're trying to beat Appalachia, they're trying to beat education, they're trying yeah. to do everything they can, and for God's sakes, don't get sucked into it. They used you for three weeks and murdered me. They got 32 amendments written while you're gone. They got the hell raised in the Senate. You got the NAM. You got the Chamber of Commerce. You got every fascist organization in the country working while you were trying to get $400,000 that I damn near borrowed and given to you. I could have. Well, I didn't know it. If I'd known that, I'd, I'd have borrowed it. Well, all right. You got it. Nobody's bothering you. You got friends down here. But don't let them use you, and don't let them get you worked up, and don't let them threaten you. This Ayers is just going around laughing. He and this uh, 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 fellow that's uh, head of the publicity committee on your committee. What's the Republican's name? Uh, no, it's not. He's the new head of the Republican publicity outfit. Research. Goodell. 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 Yeah. And they're just joking about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Oh, yes, I got them divided. I got them 15 to 6. Well, he's 15 to 16. Oh, he said 15 to 6 on our group. Yeah, well, he got, you know, he, got, he, got, he got 6 out of 15 and got all the heads. You know who he got? He got Jim O'Hara, he got Sickles of Maryland, he got Scott of North Carolina, and he got Sam Gibbons. I know every one he got, and I ain't going to forget who he got. I just think it was awful, and he put them off, and he just playing into their hands. Well, I hope you won't forget, then. I won't forget. I, don't you think I'm going to forget? That was the biggest shock I got when those six went against me. All right. I'm not forgetting about either, and I'm not forgetting about uh, Gibbons. 
and I'm not forgetting about it, but I want that bill reported out tomorrow morning like the administration wanted, and what you want me to do, I'll try to do. Okay. And you are worried to come worry, and I'll have it. I'll you give it to you at 11 o'clock tomorrow. Thank you, Adam. All right. Waiting. <laughs> 